we do know that there are starting to hear our stories and facts of officers and people generally coming out of COVID and having what's called long COVID. I don't think we really know the true effect of that yet. We, we can't, it's impossible to know that at this stage, but we're, we're hearing indicators already of people that may be uh, coming out of it with levels of anxiety, with stress, with coming out of it with mental disorders and are not returning to the workplace, the people that they were before they um, suffered with this horrible pandemic. What do you think in regards to that Oscar Kilo can either encourage forces to do or what are your thoughts about what we can do together as a policing family to try and improve that? It seems to me that long COVID is one of those things where I'm not sure we'll have huge numbers of people mm. who, who hopefully have got long COVID. So we should be able to manage it and keep them in policing if that's what they want. But, you know, not adapt the role and make adjustments for them. So, you know, these will be fantastic people who are desperately sad they can't do their full job maybe because of long COVID. Mm. And we, we should be able to accommodate that within a big sector like policing and in a, in a police force, are you with me? To yeah. retain that commitment and skill and make sure that whatever adjustments they need as a result of being diagnosed with long COVID, we can accommodate them. Do you know what? That is such a key thing to say. Um, even if we almost park COVID for a second, realistically in policing, the Police Federation has constantly always tried to support officers in working through any form of process, whether it be coming back to the workplace in their original role or coming back after a period of sickness and absence into an adjusted role because of the person they are when they come back from uh, any form of injury or illness and condition. And, and for me, there's this element of that that sometimes is overlooked. You would probably class it as called it organisational anxiety. Now, sometimes there's no way around that because a, a long period away from the workplace does bring anxiety because you're out of the loop. You lack confidence that you can do your role as efficiently and effectively as you could before. You're a different person. Anyone that suffers a, a period away from the workplace for a long period of time goes through all of this and then needs that really gentle support to actually get them back into the workplace, aside from the fact that they may then have some uh, element of uh, mental anxiety or uh, disorder that's, uh, you know, like you say, could be quite de deliberate, dilapidated, could actually really um, affect them in going back into that workplace. You know as well as I do, if you've been away from the workplace and you're then going to step back into a team that work effectively together and you've been out of that team for a long while, and you've probably been some form of management support process as well, which has meant you've been dealing with HR or you've been dealing with occupational health. It's a real difficult step, isn't it, to step over that threshold and get back into the workplace. This is. is one thing that the Federation constantly try and improve working with management, but we're not there yet. And we still do have those horror stories, don't we, if things going wrong. And yeah. I think you're right. I think that's what would help. Uh, and would help officers and certainly help officers in the return uh, from COVID as well.